from the spot the world. So what I mean by validation in terms of like when when people get to know oh, this is there's a pop designer from uh, the UAE or from Oman or from Bahrain or Kuwait. So they always uh, I think the first question is to say like is there's really a product design from these countries or is there's design there because we are expecting design exported to these countries. So what about them? How does that design come? So what's the features of it? So I think it's a, that's the, that's a challenge for us as designers because that's mean our audience are not ready for our product. It's very difficult to say because we're talking about the region as a whole. If I talk about the region as a whole, in Egypt, for example, part of the design existed for a very long time. So we are not struggling with exactly the same thing as what are you doing? Is are you you doing furniture? It's not the same kind of struggle. It's a different kind of struggle. It's a struggle of are you up to the standard to the rest of the world. It's made for me the challenge is the process of production. Um, the product design it, on paper is amazing and you, you, you put passion into your ideas and your concepts and uh, it, it, it's always it starts with, with that. Uh, so you see it as a designer but of course the process of production is extremely challenging. I feel it more than the rest of the world in the Middle East. We have an amazing uh, ecosystem of uh, industrial areas in Sarja, just next door. And I remember just asking all my students uh, first assignment, you need to choose a material, you have to go to industrial areas, find it, and then from that we will start an investigation, research, and then we'll start our project. After two days, they didn't go. After two more days, they came together as a group and they told me, mainly, we probably have 90% of, of Finnish students, they told me, uh, ladies don't go to industrial areas. Uh, so I said, uh, there's, uh, I have to change my mind about how to approach this problem and how a familiarity with the uh, material, with, uh, with uh, how we approach this question of making and filling with your own hands the materials and the process of, of making things with it has to change. I have to say that now I have second year students that when they finish, even the when, before they start, they are asking me to learn how to weld aluminum. So the, the learning curve of the, the incorporation of these students from fourth, third, and second year has decreased uh, the age of where they begin to incorporate uh, materials and methods and fabrication methodologies. I think one of the most challenging parts for me because I was used to manufacture all my, all my pieces in Portugal and Portugal is very rich in terms of, of tradition, in terms of, of craftsmanship. And has the Middle East been, uh, so especially here, uh, the Latin art and has been uh, developing uh, in terms of craftsmanship, it, it's still an ongoing process, so it's, it's still very new. People, they need to uh, acknowledge experience and they need to, to learn more about the, the craftsmanship and, and especially about that the sensibility when you work with materials. Uh, you really need to understand that it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, you have to put love in, in what you do. You have to put passion in order for us to create something with, with real value and with real uh, content.